everybody, welcome back to E Cube. Today's expression, very, 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 very good. To leave one's mark. I left my mark. I left my mark. Now this expression, actually, uh, you can imagine a dog. Uh, if you see a dog, let's say you have a dog and you're walking down the street with your dog. Every time the dog sees a tree, or a stop sign, or a fire hydrant, what does the dog do? The dog lifts its leg and pees. And when I was a child, I was always amazed at how much a dog could pee. Wow! It pees there, it pees there, it pees again, it pees again, it pees again. It's constantly peeing! Well, later I realized, after I asked my dad, my dad told me, no, 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 the dog is not actually peeing, the dog is leaving its scent. Scent. That's why dogs, before they pee, they actually go to check the scent. That scent is a mark. Now, humans, can you smell, if you're walking down a street, and let's say you're walking down the street with many people, and there's ten people walking past you, and your mother is one of those people. As they walk by, can you smell your mom? No. I, people generally smell the same. Our noses are not that strong. So people, if we had a strong nose, we might leave our scent. But we don't have a strong nose. So when people want to leave their scent, they leave a mark. And people do this all the time. Look at these pictures. People writing their names showing who they love, making marks when they were here, everywhere, everywhere. People love to leave their mark. But in history, we can also leave our mark. Do you intend to leave your mark in history? Let's check out a dialogue. I'm leaving my mark on this rock. For what? So that people will know that I was here. With watercolor paint? Ah, uh, I don't know. People do that in trees and rocks. Uh, they, 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 with watercolor paint? Now that's stupid. Not watercolor paint. That's paint. You paint, but then when it rains, the paint disappears. Can you leave your mark with watercolor paint? No, of course not. Yesterday, we learned inscribe. If you inscribe your name in a rock or into a tree, that'll be there for many, 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 many years, right? Look at Egypt, the pyramids and, and the, the, the temples. They carved on those temples thousands of years ago, and they're still there, the names of people. Those people have left a mark for us to see and, and see that they were there. But even in history, for example, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin, very famous American, British guy actually. Uh, he was American, but spent a lot of time in the UK and in France. Very interesting history. Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of America. Okay, so before America, he was obviously a British colony. But anyway, uh, man, he left his mark everywhere. He left it in the creation of batteries, he left it in the creation of the post office service, he left it with the creation of bifocals, a special type of glasses. He left his mark in many areas. He investigated, wrote pieces, did research, science, created things, invented things. People who create, people who invent, they are leaving their mark in history. Absolutely. Um, if you think about some of the great inventions, some of the great 
philosophers, some of the great scientists in time, because of their studies, because of their work, we remember them. Those people left their mark in history. Evil people sometimes leave their mark in history too. And I'm not going to say anybody in particular, but boy, there have been some very evil people throughout history. Mm, yeah, yeah. Are you going to leave your mark in history? You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be rich. You can just be you and leave a mark. Yeah, it's possible. I think through language, you guys are studying English. I'm helping you. Uh, I take this responsibility very big. I want you guys to be able to communicate to as many people as possible. English is right now the global language, but we need to communicate without misunderstanding. So it's important to learn uh, the language. So my job is very important. And I believe that many of you, through proper means of communication, you will leave your mark on history. And people will remember you. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing something fantastic from you, from the family that studies with me. I know in our family we've got some outstanding people. And once again, it's my privilege to be your English coach and I take my coaching job very seriously. Leave your mark, not just in a piece of wood or on a stone, but leave your mark in history. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <sighs> I'm leaving my mark on this rock. For what? So that people will know that I was here with watercolor paint. I'm leaving my mark on this rock. For what? So that people will know that I was here. With watercolor paint. <sighs> I'm leaving my mark on this rock. For what? So that people will know that I was here. With watercolor